Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 36, Precision and Focus. In today's episode, we set out to continue our composition in 3443. We wanted to add, we had started with the minor roots section. We wanted to add a major section using chords that only had, that all had roots. Then we wanted to add chords at urges, neutrals, and modes. We wanted to have themes and backbones. And the result is we have done that. We now have roots, urges, neutrals, modes, and we have themes in minor, major, and shared. Also along the way, we made a fascinating table of how to swap minor and major chords for this particular tonality. It consists of three sections, a minute and a third, and it contains all 28 chords. Oh. So as a reminder, the key idea was this was our reference area, and when we first looked at it, we realized we had 28 total chords, and this is including adding the 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, etc., etc. And as a way to get our hands around it, we said, well, what we'll do is we will pick the chords out. These are the two chords that are mode only, for example. These 14 chords have root, well, these have, these have neutral. So these are the chords that have a, the neutral G in them. These are the chords that have the an urge note, which is the A flat. And it turns out there's 12 of those. And these are the chords that have the uh, roots, and there's 14 of those. Now, if you add them all up, 14 plus 20 plus 12 is 26, plus 36, 40, there's a lot of overlap, 42. However, by the way we did it, they include all 28. So, yay. So then we continued to arrange them in what we felt were pleasing patterns, and then we went ahead and copied them over to here into our mel melody area, and it seems to us to sound pretty good. So what we're going to do is play this sequence of cadence-based composition themes, which cadences are from function-based groupings, and, uh, <laughs> and then take us home. So that concludes today's stream. The ideas for next time are to smooth out the buffer areas. We think there's three major sections in here, and at the end you can hear there's a little extra pause in there that we don't need. We can take that out. And there's also a place up here where we can extend the chord into the buffer measure, and it'll sound good, we think. So thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Do come back. Take care. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>